This is Ray's no drag generator. In conventional action, as the output power is increased, the input power must increase. The same goes for a gasoline generator. As the generator is loaded down to power something, then the gasoline motor has to work harder and so the input power has to increase also. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on about 4 volts. And uh, this is on a little camshaft, a little small DC motor. This has a coil that's vibrating past a magnetic field. I'll put this in place in just a second. So, going back to the, if you had a gasoline motor and you loaded down the output of the generator, then that would cause more power to be used in the uh, gasoline motor. And you can see how the amperage goes up. It draws more power when it's loaded down. So as the output loads down the motor, then it would draw more current to force the coil and the wires through the magnetic field. So that's what happens in a conventional action. Now an over unity effect would be the opposite. As the output power is increased, the input power, instead of going up in amperage, drawing more, it would actually go down. Let's see if that's the case here. Okay. I have as a load two LED lights. They're connected to the little coil that's vibrating going to the LED and the output also is going to the oscilloscope. Okay. So I'm going to bring the magnetic field closer to the coil and see it's starting to have the output power starting to generate into the coil and as we now you'll see the amperage actually go down here in a second instead of 08 and 07 let's see what happens you'll hear the motor speed up because it's not working as hard Here comes the LEDs. It went down to 7.07 amps. And I pushed the whole way in. And you see it's drawing its maximum, but instead of the amperage going up, it went down. It is drawing enough current to light two LEDs. You can see the voltage output there. So you're drawing more power but instead of the amperage going up, it actually went down. So, this is a setup here. The small coil is about 350 ohms. They're called a, a pickup coil. It's moving back and forth through the field. You can see how the magnets set. And your AC output to the LED. Okay. In a conventional setup, we would have the, in a generator, we'd have the magnet with the North Pole facing down, and then your coil or your wire going through that field. The output waveform would be like this because you're going through the field. But on the no drag system, we have actually an AC coming through. Now, why does it do that? Let's kind of back up a little bit. 
You can hear the speed of the motor speed up. And then slow down. I, uh, my RPM meter has bit the dust, so I couldn't show you the, the uh, RPMs on it. So, what's happening, I believe, I'll reset this up here a little bit so you can see it. When a coil is energized, it becomes a small magnet. So in this demonstration, I replace the coil that's energized when it goes through the field, it uh, actually becomes a little magnet. Uh, I replace that coil with a permanent magnet. You can see how it pushes over. It actually aids in the force. It assists, it assists the action instead of goes against it. So when it pulls the other direction, we'll reverse the current in the coil. It becomes the other side of the, so it goes the other way. So it actually assists going through the field which in a conventional action it doesn't do that but here as it passes into the field it produces a magnetic effect that aids in the movement so that's why it's uh, doing what it does okay. we'll go through it one more time Right now it's not loaded. A conventional action, if you loaded down the coil in a conventional, then it'd be like you'd have to add more input power to push it through. And you can see the amperage going up. But in the over unity effect action, the movement of the coil produces the same result as a little magnet and it helps in the movement through the field. So let's see what happens again. You can see the voltage going up. You can hear it go a little bit faster. Finally you see that the maximum load is coming out but instead of drawing more power from the little DC motor, it's actually using less, which is an over unity effect. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this. I wanted to leave you when you go to work on this a couple details. The junction of this bar and this bar I made the hole bigger than the screw that went through that way it has a little bit of uh, flexibility and movement uh, as it's working back and forth and the other one was when I put the coil on I put a uh, side stick here glued it on and then glued it on to the main bar it made it easier to attach that way. So that's uh, uh, just really kind of mind-boggling that this may open up a new class of over unity effect machines that uh, it actually uses less power when it's under load instead of more power. So I think those that work with this type of thing with generators and magnets and so forth and see the value of this. It's a very important uh, demonstration and I always make my demos for researchers 
inventors and those that are curious. This is something you can make. It's not very hard at all. And uh, best of luck to you. Thanks for watching.